I'm getting fat. I can't get up. Somebody help me. What do you call an angry carrot? Anyone? No? A steamed veggie. How do you make an egg roll? You push it. What do you call a pile of cats? If you got the other ones, you won't get this one. A mountain. Ha! Got it! Welcome back to Life of Lex. So today I'm gonna to be making albondigas for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me the recipe for albondigas and I'm gonna give it to you guys today. But before we do get more into today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Like this video, comment down below, and turn on your post notifications so you guys know every time I post a new video, you guys can watch it. Subscribe to my channel, click, 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 click. I'm getting over a cold, and this is why I decided to do albondigas today. Even though it's 100 degrees outside, we're gonna be making albondigas in this 100 degree weather. You heard me right, but that's because I have a cold. I'm sick. And I'm a mocosa right now. I have mocos coming out from every single hole in my body. That did not sound right. Okay, let's, let's backtrack. Uh. So there are a lot of different ways that you can make albondigas. You can also use ground turkey instead of ground beef. I usually use ground turkey for my albondigas, but I decided to go with ground beef today because a majority of the people do actually make their albondigas with ground beef. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it with ground beef. See how it tastes. Let's see if it gives it a different flavor today. This is what you will need for your albondigas. First and foremost, a pot. Make sure you have a pot because there have been times where I have made pozole and I did not have a pot. And for your veggies, you can honestly use whatever veggies you like. I'm gonna use the rest of this celery because this is what I had in my fridge. And in this household, we don't let any food go to waste. And that's because of inflation as well. But anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. I have some leftover baby carrots in my fridge as well, so I'm gonna throw in some baby carrots in there. Zucchini is mainly in your albondigas, so make sure you got some zucchini. Your girl forgot potatoes. I'm gonna use two different kinds of potatoes, and hopefully it comes out good, which I'm sure it is. And corn, I love me some corn. I'm just gonna, you know, cut these in half and then put them in there so it's gonna make four. Now for your meatballs, you are going to need a pound of ground beef, rice, mint, an egg, don't forget the egg. Salt and pepper to taste. And that's it. Oh my God, girl, I almost forgot this. Don't forget your consomme. This right here is what's gonna give your caldo flavor. Always have this in your cupboard. Okay, so first things first, what do I do? Bruh. Let's cut the produce. <laughs> That way we have all the produce ready. I need to hurry up and make this because Vivi and William are almost home. And la senora of the casa has not done sh today. I haven't cleaned, I haven't done laundry. When Vivi gets here, I am gonna make her help me because Bruh. she needs to know how to cook. Vivi's gonna help me make albondigas. After I wash my feet and my hands. After she washes her feet and her hands. Celery, cut your celery. Did I even explain what albondigas are? Bruh. It's like Mexican little meatballs in a soup full of veggies. That's it, yeah. I'm just gonna cut this potato in like fours. And I got my potatoes. I have something to tell you. <gasps> what, from school? Yeah. Tell me. So, my friend said that she has fangs. Fangs? Yeah, so I looked at her teeth and she actually did because it looked really sharp. Sharp? What the heck? Oh my gosh, were you scared? No. Ah, you're a vampire! Vampire vibes. Okay, so we're gonna make the meatballs. So this is two pounds, so we're probably gonna use half of this because it is only me, William, and Vivi. Right there, because I like a lot of meatballs. Meaty balls. Oh, that looks like brain. I was just about to say that. Put this okay, away. It grosses me out. Oh, it grosses you out? Honestly, meat grosses me out too. For one pound of ground meat, one cup of rice, one cup of rice. One egg. So I'll have you pour in the rice and crack the one egg. I tried doing a prank on her and I cracked an egg on her forehead. It didn't go well. Wash your produce, people. And then finely chop your mint. Careful not to chop a finger off. 
I'm gonna chop my nail off, if anything. <laughs> Are you ready to mix it with your hands? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, you got this. Ew! Does it feel weird? Yeah, the eggs, the eggs are the way in here. It's very, very finely chopped. Put this in here. I'm gonna get the garlic salt, okay? Okay, that's better. Garlic salt. Okay, one meatball down. Second one. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> She's the meatball maker. Yeah, I'm the meatball maker. <laughs> Period. Meatball maker! Period. Actually, I want to make a meatball. Okay, make a meatball. Make a meatball with me, please. I don't want to do this alone. Perfect. Wow, you mix this good. Mmm, these do smell good. What'd you have for lunch today? Um, it was a type of pasta. I forgot what it is, but it has. Oh, like that marinara. Meat. Yeah. Pasta or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it has meat in it. Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. I probably should have added a little bit more mint. Vivi says she doesn't like mint, so I hate mint. yeah, she hates it's my mint. mint. It's my enemy. Add to your preference. However much mint you want, okay? It's up to you, girl. Don't make me tell you what to do. It's don't your life. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't listen to her. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. She's like, okay, don't do that. Bruh. Okay, so for the juice, you are going to need four tomatoes. That's the ultimate meatball. <laughs> ultimate meatball. Half an onion, some cilantro, just a little bit. Garlic cloves, maybe like two. You sound like Miss Gray. Oh, my tomato! Ah! Oh my gosh, here's a tomato! Why are they trying to run away from us? All we want to do is eat, you guys. Vivi did such an amazing job on the albondigas. And then she made some little mini ones in here. That was so tiny! So they could fit, you know? <laughs> oh, in the spaces right here? Yeah, so you can eat them too, you know? Just straight up like... Like scoop it up and then just yeah. eat it with one bite? No, just... That's very smart. You are going somewhere with that. We should have made them all this size. Oh, girl. Your baby's been crying all day while you were at work. The baby. Yes, she has been crying all day. She wanted me. She did, because now she finally stopped crying. So now for our juice, tomatoes, I'm gonna cut them up because your girl doesn't have a ninja blender. So I'm gonna have to cut up the tomatoes that way my poor little blender can blend it well. Ugh. I love tomatoes. I used to eat tomatoes when I was a kid with tahini on them. This is three tomatoes right here. I think that's good. I'm not even gonna put a whole onion. I'm just gonna put half of a small onion because this is a ginormous onion. Cut it? Yeah, cut it in half. Cut it in half. You got this. Okay, girl. If you want. I'm so scared. You got this. Here, yeah. actually, let's cut it this way. Hold it like that. And then whenever you cut, start from like that and then go yeah. down and then hold this. You got it. It's a big knife. Okay, that was good. I don't think. Here, this one's smaller. Yeah, that one's smaller. Here, try this one. Oh, you did it backwards. Sorry. The probably why it felt weird. It did. There we go. That's yeah. That's so that that felt better, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, onion. Mmm, smells so good. End of a knife. Oh, really? I mean, I'm sure you could put some cilantro in there for some flavor, but I usually put the cilantro in the juice and let it boil in there. Are these onions? Of cilantro. Yes, girl, it's onion. Can I try it like this? If you want to, try it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna try this mini piece. If I don't like it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it up in there. a lot of onion. This might taste pretty oniony. Ew. 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 Are you okay over there? Uh -uh. Oh my I'm gosh. Gonna... You're gonna blend this. Gonna blend You're gonna, gonna blend, blend this, it. girl. Really? And then I'm gonna have you put a spoonful of chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon? Booty, yeah, chicken bouillon. That's a chicken butt? Ew. Because this comes from chicken's butts and then they turn it into a seasoning. 
because the butt has the most seasoning. Is it poop? No, it's just like the butt of the chicken has the most seasoning. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Just kidding. Ew. And then we blend. Put high, yeah, that one, and then great, the one next to it. burning right now from the really? onion. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So now what we're gonna do is get this juice and then we're gonna fry it. Put some oil in your pot. Oh, that was kind of a lot, but that's fine. So once your pot is nice and hot, you're gonna grab this and fry it. I'm scared. Ah, I'm scared. I'm okay. Like that. Ooh, what is that? My juice. That looks yummy. Yeah. That looks refreshing. And then you're gonna mix this. That way it gets a good fry. Oh, yeah, you wanna mix it? Oh, is it popping in No, ma'am. Sure. So we're just gonna let that fry for a little bit. For my friend, um, she, do it, she almost did a split, so I tried to help her up. And then the teacher was like, girl, hands off. I was like, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get a cup of hot water now. And this is gonna be me adding to the caldo because obviously we need more caldo up in there. Dang, that's hot water. Now that it's boiling, you guys see it boiling, I'm just gonna add the hot water. Oh, we got our juice. Just keep mixing. Wow, look at uh, Senora's in the kitchen cooking. She said, girl, I am not a senora. This is making you hot? Yeah, so I'm gonna drink my cold beverage. Yes. Thank you. And I think that's enough because we still need room for all these veggies. Spoonful. That's what I'm doing right now. So we're gonna taste test this now. Moment of truth. Let's see if this tastes like Ooh, our nuts. See me? I can feel your breath all the way here. <laughs> can you smell my breath? <laughs> Needs more salt. Does it? Yeah, you wanna try it? Yeah. Keep blowing on it. <laughs> that's how I blow my food. Like that? Yeah, wait, let me feel. Oh yeah, that's good. More salt? Yeah. Yeah, salt. Huh? more salt. <laughs> oh, okay. Put that in right there. Whoops. You're gonna throw these meatballs in there. Ooh. Do you wanna put them in there? It's gonna bounce. It might, let's try. A little bit, <clears throat> like this. Oh yeah, like that. You might have to use your hands to put it on the spatula. Dang, pro. So now they're gonna cook, and then halfway through, we're gonna put all our veggies in. Oh, we should probably put that in there right now, actually. And that's when I put my cilantro in, and then we close. Meanwhile, we're gonna go play some Roblox. Chapter three, Rainbow Friends. These albondigas actually cooked really, really fast. And this is how they're starting to come up to the, what, what, what was that? Bruh. So they're already starting to come up to the top like this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. This is how they're gonna start looking. So I'm just gonna put all these veggies in there now cause this is already pretty much done, you guys. Like that was so freaking fast. I still need to cut these. I love raw carrots. Careful not to, oh, drop anything. Don't do that either. Ow, this splashed on me. Celery, not all these veggies are gonna fit. Zucchini cooks really fast, so I think I'm gonna wait till the end. Hopefully I can break it in half. Oh my God, that just squirted all over me. I might not be able to break this in half. I gotta do it. Oh, I did it. You just gotta do it really fast. Throw these in there really fast. One, two, three. Period, girl. Yeah, this is not gonna fit. No, it's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to take some juice out. Ugh. Are you saying this story? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your story? One time, I was with my friend, and we 
with my mom, Papa. Uh huh. We had dinner. We had French fries. Well, we had a burger and Papa's. So I got one Papa from um their cooking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me, little self. Whenever I finished it, mm -hmm. I asked my Papa for another Papa. So he thought I was asking for another Papa. <laughs> what did he say? And he just tackled me. Bruh. He tackled you? He tackled me. <laughs> and that's it for Vivi's story time. Bye! Bye! I'm making another marshmallow. I'm hiding those marshmallows. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take out some juice. I'm gonna save it though. Okay, so this has been cooking for honestly like maybe 15 minutes and it's done already. Oh my gosh, this is it right here. So good. I just turned it off because I don't want the meatballs to start falling apart. It's done and she smells so good. So we're gonna taste test this just a little bit. I'll let you do the honors. You wanna hold it? Yeah. How does it taste? I love it. Is it good? It's so good. I love the juice. If it's Vivi approved, that means it must be really good and it's very flavorful. It's too good. <laughs> High yeah. five. Yeah. You, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like this. You're like. <laughs> High five. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Like on your guys' TikTok. <laughs> mm, the juice. Right? Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna try this potato. Ah. Mm. Imagine that's coming. Hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, guys, so the albondigas are done. And we are going to taste test it for reals this time. And we thought the juice was like really good. Mm, the juice is fire. Is it good? Yeah, the juice is fire. Mine Better is be good. Let me try the albondiga. Better not be lying to us. I don't lie. Me no lie. Albondiga. Mm. Here we go. She made them. Mm. I did ground beef this time instead of ground turkey. Mm. So this is how my plate looks. It looks so freaking good. And I like to put onion, avocado, chopped up serrano. And I also did put some oregano on top. Mm. Do you like it? She's already done. <laughs> I'm going to be ending this video here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Peace. Bye. Peace. Yo sé que tú, Yo sé que tú. no confías en mí. Tú